So as you saw from the title of the video, I am indeed going out of my way to finally be getting a CRT once again. Uh, I haven't had one since I was a child. Hey there, Pison here. And yeah, uh, the last time I was in the presence of one was when we had one in our home. I, I, I want to say way back in like 2010, 2011, something like that. So yeah, it's been quite a long time and I'm super, super excited now. I've never really recorded this kind of thing before, you know, meeting up with someone. So I, out of respect for the like sellers, I'm going to not really record the whole thing, but I'll show you everything else afterwards. Uh, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. They were offering 85 on it. It was like a it was like a three brothers that are planning on moving out and they just don't have the room to take that kind of thing with them. So because of that, I was able to haggle and bring it down from 85 to 50, which I felt like it was a pretty good deal. And it even came with this. So I skipped to where after we already picked it up. Here is the universal remote it came with. He wasn't able to get it to work and I'll see if I can get it to work when I get back home. Oh, guys, look. Oh, look how cool it looks. Oh, I'm so happy to have one again. And on our way back home, we decided to grab a bite. Uh, some Popeyes and oh my goodness it was delicious wholly recommend these guys okay so I'm back home now and here is the CRT in the back of the car and it's all its glory it is a bit you know scratched up and pretty dusty but that's to be expected it was sitting in uh, the brother's garage you know I'm showing one of the inputs <clears throat> One of the side inputs here and it's a pure flat screen i was knocking on the glass there because i haven't touched that kind of screen in quite a while and it surprised me now i'm gonna go ahead and show like the back so you can see the specific branding and everything as you can see it's an akai model number cft 2790 for those that aren't familiar with these like more flatter akai models pretty much um they are repurposed Samsung CRTs, and Samsung CRTs have always been lauded pretty well. Not as good as like the Sony Trinitrons and all that kind of stuff, or Toshiba's. They're up there, uh, probably like a tier or so lower, so I feel like I managed to strike a bit of gold here. But we'll see once I actually go inside and test this baby out. And here we are. I have managed to put it on top of this dresser. That's in the upstairs bedroom. Uh, you can see myself there in the mirror recording it. So there it is in its all its glory. This 27 inch pure flat Akai CRT. I've, I actually haven't had a flat screen before. We used to have like the tube ones back then. So this is a first for me to have a pure flat. Here I'm showing the branding again. All the little buttons being a pure flat. And me touching that glass screen again because it's just weird to me. Um, yeah, so, just showing all the angles, I, it perfectly fit between the two mirrors, by the way, if you can see there. It's actually pretty cool how snug it is between the two mirrors. And I have a couple systems here hooked up that we'll be testing out. We'll be testing out the Super Nintendo with, um, Super Mario RPG here, the GameCube with the Pikmin. And, uh, I have a switcher here, the AV switcher. I've had this for a really long time thing like a decade then uh the ps2 right here which i'll be using so i can do another video yeah and the playstation testing is going to be done using ape escape which is my personal favorite playstation game of all time and then chrono trigger here which is that other video that i mentioned before so yeah having this in my house is just unbelievable it's like i'm a kid again so yeah i have all the system there it's ready all ready to go and um i also have this playstation one here i was gonna use the playstation one instead but as you can see from this the av cable is just really busted the pins are broken and everything so that's why i decided to go with the playstation 2 and its component cable since this crt can do component which i was compelled to get Okay, so now this is the portion where I'm finally going to be plugging this TV in for the first time. It's 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 a crazy moment for me. You guys uh, probably don't get it, but yeah, I have the plug here. And I'm going to be putting that baby on. 
yeah, I'm kind of struggling a bit here. I probably shouldn't have done this while I was holding a camera. <laughs> but, you know, you do what you can do. There's that classic sound of the tube turning on. And if you heard that, that was a very surprising sound to hear. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to have some kind of like game sounding startup. And there it is, baby. The CRT in all its glory. Now, yeah, as you can see, the camera is not good at picking up these types of TVs. It's that's always been a thing. Uh, it's always been hard to showcase their good qualities and stuff through cameras. Because, you know, cameras these days just aren't good at processing like the kind of picture that these things are putting out yeah it's so crazy to have a crt in my home turned on it's just there and it's it's like it's like i'm a kid again guys <laughs> but yeah i'm just messing with like the buttons here flipping through the channels and stuff here we have like the menus which can't really see that well because of all the static going on but uh, I'm gonna try and change it to like, you know, the the DVD mode or, or game input and stuff like that so we can go ahead and start with this testing. Now because that universal remote isn't uh, connected to this TV, I don't have access to the service channel. Now what's the service channel for those who don't know? It's basically where you have your basic settings as you can see here, right? You have the regular menu settings, but those aren't the only settings that you have. In these CRTs, usually you would be able to use your remote to access more intricate settings so that your TV can output uh, the picture that Taylor made to your liking or taste. So for now, I hope that at least out of the box, this thing presents a picture that's good enough. Now here we're testing out the first game. It's Super Mario RPG The Legend of the Seven Stars. Usually people, um, you know, mute these sections when they talk, but I at least wanted you guys to hear the sound out of the CRT itself. I don't know if it comes out well, but to me it sounded excellent, like that old classic, you know, stereo sound that comes out of these TVs. Oh, it sounds so good. Now, I know I look pretty straight-faced in this footage, but, I, you know, I was trying to keep myself composed, but in the inside, I was screaming with joy that I was playing this game on an actual CRT. I've never actually played Super Mario RPG on a CRT. This is actually my childhood copy. Well, I would almost not say childhood copy. I got it from one of my best friends. They just gave it to me as a birthday gift. I was at their house, and uh, one day they were like, uh, I was looking at their games through their through their games around their room and they were like, hey, you know, you've been looking at that game quite a lot. Uh, do you want it? I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, of course. And he gave it to me as a birthday present. And, you know, to this day, I absolutely cherish it. It's really cool. And it's finally cool to have a CRT to play it on. Yeah, this was after the fact that I didn't have a CRT anymore that I got this game. Uh, it's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I, one of my favorite games in general. It's It's really good and I'm really happy that it had, you know, that that remake recently uh really want to get that remake as well so yeah that was super rpg on a crt i'm sorry that it doesn't come out well because you know again it's pretty hard to pick up footage for a crt and i'm not like a professional photographer camera uh camera person at all no i apologize for that i know it looks probably pretty bad in, in the video feed but anyway we're moving on to the next thing we're testing and that's pikmin on the gamecube here so we're going to be trying out the GameCube. Oh uh, yeah, hearing that beautiful sound from the GameCube. Now this GameCube that I have here, this Platinum one, was a more recent pickup that I had. I actually made a whole video about it. Like, um, I think it was like almost two years now. Uh, it was when I first moved into this new house that I'm in. Uh, I had ordered a GameCube and it was like a, you know, long reunion of me having a GameCube again. Because again, I haven't had a GameCube in a really long time. So, I've been playing it here and there on a regular L LCD TV that I have downstairs. It, it looks a bit bad. It actually looks better on here, to be honest, because, again, these were, like, tailor-made to play these systems at their best. But, yeah, if you want to watch that GameCube video, uh, I'll see if I can remember putting a card on the top right there. I usually tend to forget to put those, but I'll see if I can remember. Um, okay, so 
Pikmin. So far, it sounds pretty good. It looks pretty good. Again, I don't know if it's coming out well across on the screen. Probably looks a little too bright from your perspective. But to me, it looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> now, Pikmin 1. This is actually the game that made me fall in love with the medium of video games. Now, since I was an infant, I had grown up in video games. My grandpa was a very big gamer he had you know the playstation 2 gamecube uh nes uh, super nintendo n64 he had all these systems at uh, dreamcast but back then i was really big on the gamecube and dreamcast <clears throat> especially the gamecube because again i had loved games before the first game i ever played was super mario bros 3 on the N uh, nes which is still one of my favorite platformers of all time but this is the game. When I got the GameCube um, as like a Christmas gift, I think it was, as, long, as well as Pikmin, and which was, it was still very fresh. The game had come out, I think, only a couple months prior, so I had hopped on the, uh, on the Pikmin train pretty early, and it changed my world. This game opened my eyes, and I'm like, oh, wow. Like, I love games, of course. I've, I think at this point, I was probably like, four five years old or something like that and I, those years i was like oh my god games are so fun but this is the game that changed everything for me i'm like game it made me see games as something so much more it was a magical experience playing this game and i still look upon it very fondly so to be able to play this game on a crt again is again it means a lot to me and it makes me very happy again I, i'm not showing it on my face because i'm trying to like keep myself you know a bit you know a bit professional here but as professional as some amateur guy can be so yeah that was pikmin 1 on the gamecube on the crt it sounded and looked very great even if it was just composite now we're doing the playstation 2 using the official playstation 2 component cables as this has component inputs on the back of the tv which was annoying to put by the way but there's a catch while it looks beautiful it looks very good y'all very very good but there's a catch the disc tray got stuck so i wasn't able to test the games which is unfortunate and the volume is oddly very low I don't even know if you can hear it from the camera there. But uh, yeah, when it comes to the component input, for some reason the volume is very low. I'm going to have to look into that. Hopefully it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's unfortunate I wasn't able to test out the PlayStation 2 itself. But at least I was able to like look at the menu. At least like look at the bright blue. See how they look through the component aspect. And yeah, at least it looks very nice. So instead, I'm going to be switching it out uh, with the PlayStation 1 because guess what? Remember when I told you guys that that AV cable for the PlayStation 1 wasn't working? Well, in actuality, it actually does. I ended up getting desperate and plugging the AV cable in and it actually ended up working. Now, I'll admit, I had the biggest problem with the PlayStation 1. As you can see, you can tell from the camera there, there's a lot of warping and distortion going on here. I'll explain what the issue with that is later, but I honestly thought it was just the cable itself that was doing that because it was pretty broken up and everything. I also had a hard time having the game to read, um, but I do eventually get it working. Here, I have a, uh, Ape Escape. Uh, one for the PlayStation 1. Again, like I said before, it's honestly my personal favorite PlayStation game. I know people, you know, they'll say like, oh, the new God of War or Ratchet and Clank or, you know, the, a bunch of other games. For me, it's Ape Escape 1, guys. I um, adore this game. And a game I also haven't actually played on a CRT. I, I had gotten this uh, game well after that fact. I beat it during like the late 2010s uh you know like a i played it on a hd tv so you can probably already tell how that looked on that but but yeah i do eventually get it to work and i'll get to test out ape escape now oh man that beautiful beautiful uh, playstation startup 
still my favorite startup out of any console ever yeah I, i'm a gamecube boy uh, uh it's my favorite console but i gotta admit the playstation one startup is still better than the gamecube one now yes you can tell there was a lot now i was finicking around with the input box that i have the av you know switcher and it's playing super Mario rpg just fine but i switched back to the playstation one and you know was still kind of having an issue so i needed to do a bit more finicking around again i said that playstation one was giving me the hardest time out of the out of the three uh test consoles that i had here you know i don't count the playstation 2 because that was just that this tray issue that has nothing to do with the tv itself well no to be honest i did notice a bit of like warping issues that were going on with the super nintendo and gamecube but not as much as the playstation okay so yeah i walked around a bit in this little tutorial-esque area for a bit and i you know i was gonna move on to the actual first level but guess what like i said before the disc stopped working and um i, I needed to switch the game it's actually unfortunate because i was really excited to play this game on a crt I, I have it on the psp as well the you know the the port that they did of it and so I've beaten this game like twice, but I wouldn't mind have to have tried beating it a third time on a CRT, but I'm going to have to try to fix this disc. But yeah, it works. It looks very good um, on the CRT. I know again that the camera doesn't show as such, but to me it looks pretty good. Now we're getting into me testing out uh, the next game here, Chrono Trigger. I'm pretty sure the disc in this one looks pretty fine. I've actually never popped it into the PS1 before. So this is going to be a first time for me. Now, this is one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite RPGs of all time. I actually used to debate whether it's my favorite or not. Because this was around the time I had played Xenoblade Chronicles 1 for the first time. And yeah, those two were like in a duel on my mind of which one I found better. But I ended up leaning more towards Xenoblade 1. So I'd consider this probably like in my top 5 RPGs of all time. But I've never actually, that was, I played the WiiWare version of Chrono Trigger. That's where I beat that game, but never actually played it on the PlayStation. I've heard horrible things about the load times and how much, like, it takes plenty of time to go in and out of battles. And that sounds dreadful. And uh, I'm actually going to be cutting out lots of sections here because I don't want to put you guys through all the load times. I'm sorry. Um, it is pretty egregious. I don't think I would actually ever put myself through beating it on the PlayStation. The only reason why I own this version is because it's like the cheapest one to get. Physically, the DS one, the SNES one, they all cost way too much. Yeah, I could get it digitally, but you know, as a collector, like I would like to own the game and the PlayStation one that's bundled with Final Fantasy 4 is like the cheapest way to get it. So yeah, I'm glad I own it, but I'm not planning on beating it this way. I'm not going to put myself through that torture. Still really cool. It looks really great. The sound is really good. Um, yeah, it comes out very good on this uh, CRT. Very happy with how it, how the picture and sound come out. Now, before I get to my final thoughts on the CRT and the whole process, I just wanted to point out my Intech AV uh, switcher here that I have again I've had this for well over a decade it's old and I think this might be one of the problems that I was having with all like the distortions and color being incorrect here and there <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna be doing a couple more tests on this to see if it's true but if it is I'm gonna have to get myself a new switcher unfortunately so um all in all um I'm very happy to have one of these again, guys. You have no idea. Again, this is an Akai CF2790, um, which, like I've stated before, are Samsung CRT um, repurposed TVs, and um, it seems to be working just like, not just fine. As you can see, there are seems to be some distortions and. I think I saw like a geometry issue here and there, which 
is expected and I'm gonna have to you know mess around with the settings and stuff but I'm gonna have to need a remote for that and like I've said my the, the universal remote that the guy gave me with it isn't synced up and he had trouble syncing it up I had trouble syncing it up so it's something I'm gonna have to work on I'm gonna have to search for probably another remote or something but I am gonna get it up to par where it's supposed to be but as it is now it plays the games just fine anyway yeah it has some noise issues and some um, picture issues that I'm gonna have to work out but I know I'm gonna be able to all in all I'm still happy that I actually still have this thing as you can see it is pretty big it is um pretty heavy so uh, this is I think this is going to be a temporary spot for it I'm still not sure I, I'm trying to see if I can get like a corner stand for uh, to put it in the corner of my room um, so it can be like with the rest of my games and stuff because this is a different room this is the room that's next over to my room so it's kind of isolated isolated over here um it was a complete nightmare like i said to get all the consoles and cables out a bunch of cables weren't working um as you can see ape escape stopped working halfway into a level uh so a lot of finicking around but it was all worth it uh I'm beyond stoked to have this thing and to be able to game on it again. You know, my GameCube, Super Nintendo, NES, which I didn't have here, but it was one of the ones I had trouble finding cables for. Um, you know, Nintendo 64, the Genesis, the Dreamcast, all these consoles that I have. I, I have this beauty now to be able to play them. Oh, and also. The PSP. I actually have the PSP official, you know, component cables here, so that's another thing I'll be able to play on this thing. Um, all in all, that's it. Uh, that's my video on me finally getting a CRT TV again after longer than a decade. I think last time, uh, last time I was in the presence of one and in one of our homes was like late early 2011 something like that before we had to get rid of it so yeah it's been well over 10 years 10 plus years so yeah uh if you like this kind of content um i'll see if i can incorporate this thing into my videos more maybe like do that kind of angle me of me playing games while i talk i think that's going to be a format i really like to do if you if you if you like that idea, you know, let me know, comment your thoughts. Do you have a CRT of your own? I'd like to know, like, what model, like, what memories do you have? Did you, is it something you just got, or, do, or are you planning on getting one? I'd, I'd want to know. So, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.